Hello, I'm David Mandel. I'm your instructor and um, in this little video I'm just going to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, um, of course I blew this but uh, that's life. Um, okay, um, of course you can find out about me by reading on the Desire to Learn site the little blurb about the instructor, but I'll tell you about myself anyway. Um, I'm, um, I've taught a few years part-time at Portland Community College. I'm sort of semi-retired. I've had a long career in software development and uh, program or project management and oh, um, systems administration. I'm an open source guy. I have been since uh, forever, since long before the word open source existed, long before the word free software existed. Um, I probably started doing what I'd call open source software back in the 19, 1970s, late 1970s, uh, when I started to do software. I was I uh, have my BS from uh, Portland State University and my master's degree from the University of Montana and I beat around at a few other schools, um, did some work at, uh, in applied mathematics at the uh, Washington State University and Oregon State University. My work in college was actually more in pure mathematics, philosophy, and um, uh, physics. Um, and a little bit of physical chemistry actually. Um, after getting my master's degree I went into the Peace Corps and what my wife and I went into the Peace Corps where we taught at uh, University Patani in Malaysia. Um, I guess that's since been renamed to University Putra Malaysia. Um, and um, in uh, Kuala Lumpur, Mal well it's actually in Sudan Baru or Sudan. It's 15 miles south of Kuala Lumpur. Um, that is, um, well, Malaysia is a country of about 22 million people. It's a multiracial country. Um, it's a Muslim country with um, a large Muslim, uh, non-Muslim minorities, Buddhists, Christians, Hindus. Um, I was, and, and they practice freedom of religion. I was the Catholic student advisor, faculty advisor at a Muslim university and everything was cool. Um, enjoyed it a great deal. Um, uh, this is a map of Malaysia. As you can see, it's a um, little tip of, of um, the Asian continent plus part of the northern part of Borneo. Um, I think some total it's um, the, the little tip of uh, Asia, uh, which is West Malaysia or Malaya, is probably about the size of Oregon, only it's Oregon without any deserts. It's all rainforest and, well, agricultural land, but, uh, uh, and Maybe the whole state's the size of Montana, or uh, the whole country's the size of, say, Montana or California. It's a pretty good sized country, uh, larger than, say, Britain or Germany. Um, um, it's a multilingual country. Okay, well, let's go on here. Uh, after that, I worked at Oregon State University doing scientific programming in the College of Oceanography for mm, a decade. I was um, actually systems manager of uh, oceanography for um, maybe five years and um, that was a lot of fun. Um, and that, that was my first experience in systems administration as well. Um, after that I went to the U.S. Bureau of Land Management, uh, the Oregon office here in Portland or there in Portland. I live in Corvallis. so. Um, and um, I worked in, um, I, uh, geogra I was chief engineer on a project that was a private contractor 
and uh, we did geographic information systems, uh, in other words, computer mapping. Um, uh, this is the Bureau of Land Management site, their um, GIS site in Oregon. And actually, I just noticed there's a map up here. Um, this is by Jeff Nyberg. Uh, Jeff Nybert. I used to work closely with Jeff. And um, one of the maps up here is a curved map of Oregon. Whoops. Um, A curved map of Oregon, and um, that's kind of a cool map. That's actually a map that I worked on. I did most of the mathematics for getting the curvature right. The truth is it's a little bit of a fakey map. Uh, you have to shrink the Earth to radius of about a thousand miles or something to get that much curvature. The truth is, you know, the curvature going across Oregon or across the Pacific Northwest is really very small because um, the Earth is is pretty large. But um, but this makes it look good. So <coughs> <coughs> let me get that down in a the corner there. Um, after the U.S. Bureau of Land Management, I really delved heavily into Linux, um, already being an open source person. It was a no-brainer to go into Linux. Uh, I started doing Linux in 1993, I think, when, boy, it was new and young, and, and, and uh, the first downloads a friend and I did to get a copy of Linux was over a 2400 baud modem and we had to download like 70 uh, floppy disk in order to get um, a copy of Linux to, te uh, to uh, test with. And I was very impressed with it because it said broken software, alpha test, beta, uh, not worthy of being a beta test, will break when you put it on your PC and um, and actually, it ran pretty well. Yes, it was broken here and there, but it worked really remarkably well. I had another Unix I had been running on a PC, um, a proprietary Unix for which we, the US taxpayers, paid $2,500 for. And um, I thought this old, broken, bailing wired Linux operating system ran just as well. Uh, had if anything, fewer bugs. Only they admitted they had bugs. OK. Um, and um, since then, I've been doing Linux. I've done software. I've done systems work. I've done systems integration. At one point, I tried to build some of my own distributions, Linux distributions. Um, I, I, yeah. That was back around 2000 to 2002. I uh, was doing a startup company, and we were hit by the recession, the great uh, high-tech dot, dot-com bubble, uh, dot-com bubble of about 2000, 2002, and um, that um, sort of killed that project. Um, unfortunately, I um, I was building a set of special-purpose distributions. Um, that we're all supposed to work together and solve everybody's problems. And it was a cool idea. I, I still am a big believer in special purpose distributions. And um, they really are becoming a reality now. Um, we were just too early. And um, going against, up against a recession doesn't, you know, doesn't help the least. Uh, don't. I'd say don't do a startup during a recession, but more businesses were started during the Great Depression than any other time in American history. So uh, don't listen to me there. OK, uh, this is distrowatch.com. And if you take a look at this website, you'll see hundreds of Linux distributions on here. Um, and they sort of try to list them by popularity a little bit uh, over in on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see a listing by, you know, it's the uh, n number of hits they get on each distribution is what they're counting. And uh, you'll see Linux Mint, 
I'm shot, I'm really surprised Linux Mint was number one. Uh, Ubuntu. Actually, I'm surprised Fedora wasn't a little higher. But these are all good fine distributions, and uh, we'll talk about more about that later when we talk about distributions. Um, um, I'm um, also interested in farming. Since I've retired, I bought a little farm, 10 acres, and I do a little bit of farming. I'm uh, <clears throat> barely a step above this guy here in terms of my technology and techniques. I do have a tractor, but uh, and my farm is only 10 acres. It's a lot smaller than that uh, field, but uh, anyway take that for what it is. Um, and I've also taken some interest in um, just personal reading of late. I've taken some interest in the Middle Ages um, because um, I don't know because I'm <laughs> because I'm interested in them and um, what I was taught about the Middle Ages in school uh, a century ago just seems to be totally utterly wrong and um, so that's my latest project, learning a little bit about the Middle Ages. Um, well, that tells you about me. I, um, I like to work with people. I like to teach. I'm teaching because I like to teach more than, um, more than that. I'm desperate for the money. I, I like the money. Thank you for paying your tuition, which pays my salary. Do remember that you did pay a lot of money to take this class um, and um, get as much out of it as you can and you know you're you're paying my salary so try to uh, call me make use of me uh, get help from me um, I'm here to help you and uh, um, I'm working for you so uh, that said I will end this video now.